In this episode of Raisin TV, we explain the biggest irony in Ayn Rand's life. When people talk about the irony or hypocrisy of Ayn Rand, they are usually referring to the fact that she spent her entire life arguing against government aid, but then relied heavily on assistance from Medicare and Social Security during the last few years of her sad life. This isn't truly ironic because she had no choice but to pay into the Medicare and Social Security system, and therefore had the right to receive assistance. But that's not where this shit ends, it gets worse. The story of Ayn Rand's death contains record high levels of irony for another reason. Throughout her entire life, Ayn Rand argued fervently that the idea that cigarettes caused cancer was alarmist and the result of poor people being jealous of cigarette executive success. She refused to believe that a corporation would intentionally produce a product so damaging to someone's health, and instead strutted around with a cigarette at all times, like she was just waiting for the invention of the haters gonna hate them. Of course Ayn Rand was wrong about cigarettes, and she was forced to be treated for lung cancer near the end of her life. She died less than a decade later of heart failure, which may have been related to her cancer. That's sad bro, real sad. The fact that cigarettes are still popular to this day, despite decades of scientific research conclusively proving the dangers of smoking them, is a living testament to the failure of Ayn Rand's ideology. Consumers are not informed about the goods they purchase, and even when they are informed, they make highly irrational decisions. How can the Austrian cult of economics account for people who are willing to pay for a slow and painful assisted suicide? During her life, Ayn Rand witnessed firsthand the horrors of an out-of-control government regime. But just as we don't allow murder victims to be the judge or jury during the suspected murderer's trial, we shouldn't allow someone who lived through the most extreme example of a particular type of government to determine the policies of our country through emotional appeals. That's just not smart or healthy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe before libertarians have completely destroyed the infrastructure of civilized society.